current system that we've got in place is fundamentally not working well enough. We have huge demand coming into the service and we can't just tweak around the edges. What we need is fundamental change and fundamental redesign and that's why we need to do things differently. First point of contact will be different. We'll be talking to people and having conversations with them about what they can do, how they want to be part of, what the outcomes they want to achieve and how are they part of their local community. What we'll be changing is from saying what we can do for you and changing that to what can you do for yourselves and then we'll be saying then how can we support you. What we'll be doing next is some people won't need any more, that will be enough for others. We'll need to start talking to them and we'll need to start seeing them. So rather than us going to visit some people in their own homes, we'll be asking them to come to very local community hubs. Now these community hubs could be where there are voluntary groups already running, where perhaps some active living centres are running, and what we'll be encouraging us to do is to meet with them there, be greeted by volunteers and supported to understand what can they do for themselves still, keep talking to them, keep having those conversations with them. Until we know roughly what the model Describe it. Yes. The whole thing came across as having left behind the days when they were broken, the days when they were on their knees, which is kind of where we are now. Staff before said, you know, that the it was very depressing. The call centre staff said that, you know, they all day long they were taking calls about what people couldn't do, all the difficult things in people's lives. They've changed all of that round. They're talking about the positives in people's lives. The call centre staff now take ownership of the calls because they um, they signpost people, but they also review them. They go, go back in two weeks' time and they see how they've got on. And so the call centre staff are actually part of the team, part of the service, taking things forward. The back office staff, the frontline staff, they don't have the monumental waiting list. They don't have waiting lists. So they haven't got that pressure, that feeling of we're never going to get to the end. And they can deal with the, the people that need their help and they can really serve them. So for our staff, it's about how we change that conversation from what can we do for you to how can we help you achieve the outcomes you want to achieve. It's also for us as a local authority, this isn't just an adult social care issue. This is about how the, how the whole local authority get together and work about how we ensure that our communities, our voluntary sector, are working with us and we are working with them and listening to them. So there's a change for our, our voluntary and local communities about how they can support us and how we can support them going forward. And thirdly, there's a cultural change for people that either use the current service now or will be using that in the future. And that's about us helping them to understand how they can help themselves.